Chris, how are you? In our previous discussion, we created this scene, basic scenes for our manga character. This time, we again uh, draw another um, manga version for that, and we will add that to our scene. A scene just like your storyboard. So, by this time, uh, maybe you're using a new version of your uh, uh, Adobe CC Animate Dashboard. I'm using an old version because I'm extremely comfortable with this program okay let us start so first thing first is let us first um, draw the head okay so when we draw the head okay I'm talking about the head this is where you draw the side view all right so we have to go first to our what to our layer and of course we need to create the head right here okay so we have to put here new or insert keyframe now so let us draw the head right here Okay, let us go back first here and then use the light uh, color for the head and then we start with our circle. So drawing the side view is very simple. All you have to do is to draw the circle. Okay, this is the circle. And then you start with the curve right here. Okay, just like this one. It's very simple. But if you're not comfortable with this, okay, I can erase this and of course you can draw only the circle just like that. Okay, so if you want to draw the head, well, of course, pretty simple. All right, let's zoom this. Uh, let's zoom this. You can start with this uh, style. Okay, we'll draw the female head, side view head. So we are doing this because we will create another um, action figures using the side view angle. Okay, so this is the head, the neck, and of course, this is the neck. Now, after that, what will happen? So we will have to. We will draw the eyes. It's very simple. This is the eyebrow, and of course, you can exaggerate the eyes. Okay, something like that. And from here, we have to make up a pout lips, put something like that. And of course, we need to draw the hair. Okay, so this is the hair. All right. So you can create your own style, of course, no? A freehand style, or a, free, a freehand draw. Okay. So this is our light drawing. Okay. Now, after this, we will uh, do the detail of our drawing. Okay. So, it's something like this. Okay. All right. Now, what will happen? Let us create another layer. Again, I just want to reiterate this. By this time, maybe you're using the new advanced um, dashboard for your graphics editor. Okay. So, they are a bit the same, except only for the fact that, of course, the ID is in another style. Okay. So, this I will lock this out and use this current layer. Okay. I will choose now my uh, color here color wheel tool and then draw the okay now to be clear with the head okay with the with the with the, with the face okay we can use this okay and then draw the nose something like that or maybe you can use the line tool right here this is the line tool but we but for the sake of, uh, you know, for hand exercise, we will use what you call this, the freehand row. Oops. Okay, that's it. So after that, what will happen? So we have to draw right here the nose. Oops, that's too much. And then, okay, follow here. Follow it right here. And then we draw the eyebrow. Let's go here a bit for the eyebrow. And uh, we need to create the eyelid this is the eyelid all right remember we have already um discussed this in our previous tutorial the manga basic uh, drawing all okay. right so we have to use that here the circle and then of course we have the iris and we have the pupil and we have the glare so we need to uh, close the gap and then provide some color so what will happen right here so this is where we put the, uh, the mouth okay a bit of exaggeration for the mouth okay you can put it like that something like that so you have the mouth right there and of course we have to uh, um, edit first the nose okay and maybe we can adjust a bit uh here for the nose okay this is a bit uh so uh, uh what it is this is that exaggerated type so we need to exaggerate it right here i'll be using this thing to generate this okay 
and then use some oil. Okay. So this is how you use the thick in thin drawing. And uh, don't uh, be afraid to experiment. Okay, you can do your own experimentation. Okay, so this is how you do it. So we need to use the thin uh, line of thin brush here to draw the nose. Okay, for example, this will be the final product. Okay, so we have it here. So after that, what will happen? So we need to draw again. The next part is to draw the here. Okay, you can create your own style to draw you here. Okay, for example, this one, you can follow this line and uh, create your own style. Okay, and then right here, and then here, make uh, your own style. Okay, uh, do not be afraid to experiment. Okay, okay, if you have your uh, pen tool with you right now, well, you can follow me. You can even what you call this, uh, uh, you can even. Um, Okay, let me put here the color to emphasize the face. All right, that's it. So we have here the basic example of your female um, manga, what you call this? Manga side uh, view angle drawing. Okay, so I won't do the coloring anymore. This is pure what black and white type of drawing. Okay, so we have to put it right here and here. Okay, later, if you want to create smooth type of drawing, you can use your Photoshop and other uh, graphics editing tools. So this is now our, the first part of our drawing. Okay, now, why is it that we are doing this? This is part of our um, exercise. And at the same time, this is to review what we have discussed in the previous tutorial, my tutorial. So we will apply this later to our uh, actual drawing for the scene. Okay, now, um the most important part if you are drawing uh, uh, um, drawing the manga um, uh, thing you need to understand the basic body the manga mannequin okay like for example you start first with the head okay I will use the light color here okay you have here the head okay how to do the head so you have here the head and of course the eyes the nose and the mouth it's very simple so this is the socket where the head is connected to the neck and of course to the shoulders okay so this is how you do it all right so this is your manga head and at the same time where of course we have the arms this is the cylinder where we move our arms boy something like that and at the same time we have the feet so this is the side view of your feet. This is the thighs. Okay. This is the lower part. And then of course you have also here the feet. Okay. That's very important. And uh, you have the body. The body is very simple. Okay. This is the box. And then you put it like this. Okay. This is for the body. Now let's follow the example. Okay. So let us uh, check. And of course, apply this thing in a very simple uh, action figure drawing. I will erase this. Okay, all of this. So now we will apply this in a, uh, a basic body drawing. How to do that? Okay, like for example, um, for the action poses. Okay, let's do first the skeletal drawing. And then we apply it in this drawing, the final version of our scene. S-C-E-N-E. Okay, so for example, we have here the action figure. Uh, remember, uh, we ass I assume that we have already understand how to use the, the anatomy. Okay, so this is it. All right. This is the head. At the same time, we have the, here the neck. So this is the plan. Okay, the plan is to create a character. You know? And then we have here the shoulder. We have here the arm. Okay, let us use the let us use the thick type of uh, okay. This is the cylinder again. We have here the arms, all right, hands. So this is the body. Okay, as you can see, wait, we have here the body, and then uh, we have here the middle extremities. Okay, right, this one, 
okay that's the basic type of drawing then we have also here the hands okay so we have to put the hands right here and then okay and then of course oh uh, this is the example of the action figure or the moves all right okay so from there you can see that we have already created the basic actions of our character it's very simple so we are talking about the balance and of course the position so if you can see we are using the perspective the direction of the character so the balancing point is somewhere right here here is the balancing point so if you look at it of course this is where it goes okay this is where it goes this so this is your balancing point okay that's how you do it the uh, balancing point that's what that's how you do the balancing point okay now i will uh, this is where you create the balance in proportion right here right here the balance and the proportion can you get the point so it's very simple and very easy okay so i will erase this first and of course let's do the final stuff the cleanup process so okay so i will use this layer to do the final uh, cleanup process okay so i can use this uh, convert this drawing into a female or a male so i can use male drawing or female drawing all right i will use the female drawing okay so we have here the female drawing now let us do the cleanup and of course put the details on this do not be afraid to uh, start your own style so for the head as you can see this is not looking to at uh, in the uh, in, in, in to the top but again it's the, uh, the direction of the head is what in uh, down uh, down in looking at the at the bottom something like that so we start with the head of the uh, male character so something like this okay so we have here the male character the female rather character okay so uh please uh, revisit uh, my previous uh, what you call this uh, manga um instructions in how to draw the female and the male all right now let's finish this thing i have he this is the neck all right let us provide the neck of course we have here the the upper parts of the male okay all right let's make a uh, exaggerated type of drawing here right here all right so this is the stomach okay and then we have to put here something right here and then after that what will happen so because this is a female of course we need to provide the boots okay the boots drawing okay make it make make it bit uh, sexy the boots okay all right that's it and then we have here another uh, legs if you want to draw the legs um if you're uncomfortable with your digital um, pen you can use this line to draw the legs and afterwards you can extrude this thing if you want no uh it's, it's very easy okay mine is to use the paint tool all right i love to check i love to uh, use the paint tool um you know because of the thick and thin style of drawing okay so that's it and i have here uh the shoes okay later on you know, maybe you can play with this and of course do the cleanup later but for now well for the sake of discussion all right so this is it so i have here all right that's it always remember okay um the three letter p p stands for what practice practice all right so you do this practice every day okay to uh, draw your manga what character or any drawing okay never mind for now we are using the black and white this is first to understand how to use the manga 
and the Forsta manga um, style and using how to and of course expressing yourself how to create manga poses okay so remember we have here the cylinder okay this is where you rotate the arms okay now we have to follow first the this is uh, one of the best thing if you are using uh, the digital drawing because you can <laughs> automatically undo okay undo the the lines no? so i'm not saying that uh, well uh, traditional drawing is not good but again i prefer the traditional drawing i love traditional drawing this is for the sake of uh, you know for the channel uh, discussion okay channel demonstration so i have to but follow the drawing right here and of course okay that's it so this is the example of our drawing product and we have here of course the product okay this is the output now now i just want to reiterate this that uh, of course the direction is totally different this uh, this uh, is a, a, a basic perspective drawing so this is the balancing point so the the, the the angle comes here at the other side okay so that is this the balancing point as you can see well of course uh the angle is dynamic right so that is what you call the balancing point now let us put some details to our drawing okay well, let me finish this first so we have here the drawing and then we need to uh, provide some uh, you know some oops so we have here all right so <clears throat> this is how you do it okay and of course uh, we can uh, provide the uh, exaggeration also here okay and then for the hair well you can use color if you want no okay let us provide color you can provide color in this drawing okay let us do that okay this is the hair all right and of course we have here let's say this is the color of the dress okay all right so we need to close the gap right here the gap is very important you can uh, apply this in different graphics uh, graphic call a graphics editor all right so that's it and then we provide because the shadow cam, uh, comes here okay we have to provide uh, another form use the color wheel tool and then choose a bit of uh, dark color and then you can use the shadow right here something like that so please be careful with of course with the line okay this is not to destroy the line and of course i maintain the state of your drawing okay that's it so this is not a 100 percent type of cleanup but again for the sake of the discussion and of course i don't want to waste my time <laughs> okay so this is a recorded uh, a live recorded uh, type of uh, of the demonstration so you can choose the color here okay something like that and well again we can put here the shadow okay dark shadow uh, this is will create a greater impact for the viewers okay so what's for my animation tutorial uh, and of course I will still continue my game development uh, lesson no? in 2d digital animation so this is it so you have the drawing right here oops and then we need to finish this okay so we, we will have to finish this first and uh, so for the boot we have to but use this thing okay okay that's it so beautiful color right okay we have this beautiful color then okay now uh, i can change the color wheel and choose a bit dark color and uh, maybe uh, well of course i can do the freehand row like this here okay no more okay make it more darker okay in order to be uh, seen by the uh, Uber, okay. 
something like that just a circle something like that okay nothing more see so we have here the drawing and uh, now we need to uh, color the character and then make it lighter because this is a pinai um uh, manga version of drawing okay so this is bit uh, dark we make it uh, so uh, lighter okay so that's it so we have here okay that's it okay i want finish uh, i want really I, I don't want really to uh, you know make this as fine drawing for the demonstration purpose okay this is a bit good all right so that's it so this is the finished product okay and then just put some ornaments right here for the neck okay and then i will do some shades right here okay color and then erase this line okay that's it the line all right and then well we can use this foreground for the for the fit and of course uh use this dropping tool well here and then what else so we are almost done with our um, character <laughs> um we can call her well you can uh, maybe uh use this as your model okay and of course you can write stories about this model <laughs> all right so this is how you do it okay let us erase this thing okay i cannot erase this of course i will zoom it okay there are lots of uh, 30 lines but i want uh, any more um edit this okay then this line is not good okay i don't know oops i cannot erase this okay that's it now <clears throat> so you have here the character all right so i will go another to another frame okay let us save this thing i can erase this okay so this is now our scene uh, a basic scene so we can put the background right here okay maybe a, a, a you know a, a background or maybe some uh, anything that uh, you, you want really to uh, to uh, to produce or to fuse okay so the background would be something like this okay we are creating a scene here so in the previous example we use the backyard so this time we'll use a plain type of background okay or maybe something like that but because this is where we, the first perspective comes in the vanishing point is right here so we can maybe create something like this one okay so this will be the background okay and then we can uh, close this background and then okay that's it that's it so this will be the background okay and uh, what will be the background here it's very simple so this is our drawing and of course this is this is the background i'm sorry class i'm, I'm sorry okay we have to check this first so this is the background so we put it right here and of course this is the background now uh, using your paint tool or any tool you can use the smudging you can use you know the painting or anything i will exaggerate this background so how to exaggerate this background so i can use different color or maybe a lighter color or a dark color for the background for example this is like this so we can use this thing so this will be the background no i mean this is pretty simple or maybe i can use another background something like this all right or this one or the blue background so much better now from here of course we can exaggerate this this is the perspective okay this is how you do the line this is how you use the line okay so the purpose of that is to create a dynamic some type of you know of uh, angle of your drawing or we can use another style of uh, or maybe we can use the same color but again we need, we need to need to enhance this color like this one okay so this will be the color we'd be called the color okay then we raise this line 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 and line okay 
So this is our drawing. This is not the, not the final product of our drawing. And then erase this, erase this, erase that drawing. So from here we can play with this drawing. Okay. All right. So we have this drawing, and uh, uh, we can put more here. Okay. And then something like that. It's very easy. I mean, just playing a line here. And then from here, well, of course, you can also choose the, the, the light background and then choose the paint pool. If you have your Photoshop, well, of course, you can do more. Okay. Okay, you can do this thing. Then it's okay. Something like that. Then okay, something like that. So this is now the background okay that's that's that, that's it all right so from here well of course you can put different characters here if you want no uh, you can add monsters and other things maybe um, a wolf or anything okay so let us um, finish this thing okay so we have to right create another layer what that layer is for the entire background color okay so we have to use the color here maybe we can use something like you know something like this no? i mean that's the background so here you can create your own um color wheel edit editor color wheel editor to combine different colors okay so this is the last part of the layer so that's it so we have the drawing all right that's the final product of our drawing so from here you can create your own storyboard you can create your own um, stories and start your comics maybe or maybe you can create a proof of scene for your client so you know, uh, proof of uh, scene is very important when you are trying to create your animation. Alright, so this is it. I will, uh, if you have other questions or maybe anything, you can um, uh, check the link below and of course uh, click the link. Okay, so thank you so much for um, watching and of course please don't forget to share and uh, subscribe to this uh, channel. Thank you so much.